Speaking of welcome to the Norton High School's 33rd Annual Honor Society induction ceremonies. My name is James Partridge and I will be your master of ceremonies. But we can't be together in familiar in-person induction ceremonies. We will hope to preserve much of the pomp and tradition as possible in this virtual presentation. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'd like to announce Sophie Dia Moore who will sing the national anthem. First of all, thank you to the role models that are here today behind me. Congratulations. I know you guys have been in the, in the uh, uh, societies. I want to congratulate all of the inductees for this year. Your work, your commitment your, to your academics and your community are being recognized by your, not only your school, but the entire community of North. You have, in so many ways, had to do things a little differently this year. It's important for all of us to recognize how special each of you really is. Prior inductees have all deserved their recognition, but during a pandemic, things are being done much differently. Remote, hybrid, full remote, or both, or all three, just isn't the same as being in school. Yet you were all set a clear message to other generations, from my view. You care about each other, and during a pandemic, that actually may be the most important thing. We celebrate you for your support of each other every day. Remember to dream it, Wish it and do it. Congratulations to you and your families, and thank you to our staff. I'm proud of each of you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Maeda. I would now like to invite Mr. Goldman, principal of North High School, to the podium. This is an extremely exciting night for Norton High School and Norton Public Schools. You know, it's all about recognizing the tremendous dedication, talent, and intellect of our students. Norton High School boasts 10 honor societies, which is remarkable, and means that there is an honor society that can fit almost every student's interests and profile. Thank you for joining us to recognize these very talented students who succeed in all facets of academic, civic, and social life. Being in education means that you're perpetually in awe of the things that students can accomplish. And I am certainly in awe tonight. Despite the 10 month, past 10 months of global pandemic and with all the changes that it has wrought on our society into the very model that school is done, you 
you here and those being recognized have persevered and achieved at a very high level. These students that you'll hear tonight are mathematicians, musicians, historians, linguists, artists, scientists, and literary scholars who have not only succeeded in the classroom, but given back to their school and their community. National Honor Society inductees have demonstrated scholarship, leadership, character, and service throughout their high school careers. And inductees have led cap as captains of their teams, as presidents of their clubs, as Boy Scouts, as Girl Scouts. Inductees have served as volunteers at Sturdy Hospital, coached Little Whiffles, and other youth teams, and practiced civic engagement in the Global Citizenship Club. I applaud each and every student who has ascended to these heights of achievement and recognition. You have all persevered and deserve all of the recognition that we'll present here tonight. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Dolman. As the president of the Gene G. Finlitter chapter of the National Honor Society, I have the honor of inducting, introducing the new inductees. Members of the National Honor Society, are distinguished as individuals of exceptional character with the potential of great leadership who are deeply invested in service to their school and community and demonstrate outstanding scholarship. While each of you this year's inductees exemplify all of those characteristics, your talents and accomplishments go far beyond. Besides being outstanding students, some of you are devoted athletes, passionate artists, dependable employees. Others are brilliant musicians and vocalists. Some volunteer in hospitals, and nursing homes, and others are scouts. You're a source of inspiration for your peers, family, and younger students. Your hard work and determination has placed you atop of your class and positioned you for incredible success. On behalf of the National Honor Society, I would like to congratulate you all. I would now like to introduce Caitlin Bailey, who will administer the first charge. Scholarship denotes a commitment to learning. A student is willing to spend hours of reading and study, knowing the lasting benefits of a cultivated mind. We should continue to learn even when formal education is ended, for human education ends only with the end of life. Knowledge is one great element in life, which leads to the highest success, and it can be acquired in only one way, through diligence and effort. Learning furnishes the lamp by which we read the past, the torch guiding us to understand the present, and the light that illuminates the future. Candidates have the charge to continually expand their world through the opportunities inherent in scholarship. A good head and good heart are always a formidable combination, but when you add to that a literate tongue or pen, then you have something very special, Nelson Mandela. Leadership should exert a wholesome influence on the school. In taking initiative in the classroom and in school activities, the real leader strives to train and aid others to reach their common goals of success. A leader has self-confidence and will go forward when others hesitate. No matter what power or resources may exist in the school, community, or nation, they are ineffectual without the guidance of a wise leader. Leadership is always needed. Thus, to lead is a meaningful and substantive charge to each of our members. The price of leadership is sacrifice. 
the willingness to yield one's personal interests for the interests of others. Harry Truman once said, it is amazing what you can accomplish if you do not care who gets the credit. Send to you these students who have fulfilled all the requirements for the membership into the National Honor Society. The following inductees have pledged to uphold the high purposes of the National Honor Society to which they have been selected, striving in every way, by work and deed, to make its ideals and the, the ideals of their school and of their lives. Chloe Borgita, Jillian Eisenstadt, Sarah Joyce, Jason Cole, Faith Seibug, Catherine Simpson, Lauren Anderson, Morgan and Tosca, John Bamford, Lindsey Bagel, Aidan Blake, Gwen Bressler, Samantha Carrero, Megan Krauss, Sophie Diamore, Nathan Daly, Isabella Dumont, Zoe Duran, Ryan Fitzroy, Justin Caligo, Sky Goba, Jillian e. Goodwin, Courtney Cass, Spencer Kitchen, Caroline LaSalle, Abigail Leo, Lily McKay, Justin Mirando, Caitlin McCarty, Olivia McConnell, Jack McPartland, Emily Monty, McKenna Morse, Thomas Mulvaney, John Nihill, Anna Pescott, Anne Catherine Powers, Jack Riley, Jordan Robbins, Abby Robichaud, Caitlin Russell, Emily Shevis, Caitlin Shevis, Tristan Cybug, Brian Stroney, Ashlyn Silva, Andrew Tatrell, Caroline Turcott, Cole Weiss, Michael Whalen, Elliot Wilson. Congratulations and welcome to the Society inductees. At this time, I would like to introduce Victoria Norbeck, president of the Renaissance chapter of the Art History or Art Honor Society. Buenas noches. Me llamo Gabe de Isoya Presidente 
de la Sociedad Honoraria Española del Capítulo Alonso Quijano. The Spanish Honor Society, La Sociedad Honoraria Española, is an organization that intended to promote the interest in the Spanish language, to create enthusiasm for the understanding of the Spanish culture, advocate for the high standard of scholarship, and praise scholastic achievements. The eligibility for this society is determined by the student handbook as follows. The student must be currently a junior or a senior. The student must be currently enrolled in a Spanish four or five honor class with a maintained average of B plus or better. And the student must demonstrate honorable work ethic and character. In addition, the Spanish Honor Society gives scholarship to two senior class members of the society who are in good standing so it can be used to study Spanish at the college level. Please join us in welcoming our new members. Lauren Anderson, Morgan Antosco, Isabella Dumont, Zoe Duran, Justin Galeo, Destiny Greaves, Jillian Eisenstead, Olivia McCollum, Madison Porter, Ann Catherine Powers, Jordan Robbins, and Elizabeth Walker. Felicidades a todos. My name is Aiden McElman, and I am Vice President of Triumph. It is my pleasure to welcome our new members to this great organization, including Eris Nose, Rosie Conway, Leah Salvis, Amber Richard, and Isabella Kelly Lee. Hello, I'm Lily Corner, President of Guava Bea. Guava Bea candidate 
is poorly presented for initiation in the local data from the International High School of Mathematics Honor Society. It is an honor to be selected for membership in this organization, which has over 1,500 chapters across the United States and in some foreign countries. The principal purpose of Mu'amu Beta is to stimulate a deeper and more effective interest in mathematics. Welcome you to the induction of Norton High School's chapter of the Science National Honor Society. My name is Kevin Mahoney. And my name is Kathleen Kozlowski. And we are co-presidents of the Science National Honor Society. The Science National Honor Society was organized around the following objectives. To encourage and recognize scientific and intellectual thought. To advance students' knowledge of classical and modern science. To communicate with the scientific community. To aid the civic community with its comprehension of science and to encourage students to participate in community service and in turn, encourage dedication to the pursuit of scientific knowledge that benefits all mankind. The motto inscribed in Latin on the Science National Honor Society emblem translates, fortunate is the one who understands the causes of things. It is indeed fortunate to have students like those here tonight who are vigorously pursuing the knowledge of the causes of things. In accepting the invitation to become a member of the Science National Honor Society, the students have accepted certain challenges including maintaining the academic standing, the pursuit of academic rigor in science, and the commitment to serving others in the area of science. It is traditional for students to take the following oath to demonstrate their commitment to meet these challenges. I promise to do my best to represent the academic goals of the Science National Honor Society, participate in community service, and encourage the pursuit of scientific knowledge that benefits all mankind.
All of our new members possess an English GPA of 3.67 or higher and are currently enrolled in an English or AP level honors course. As a member of the National English Honor Society, students will use their talents and passions to promote the importance of English language arts, participate in a variety of meaningful activities, from volunteering in our virtual writing center to working with our district and elementary school students to publishing their work. The following inductees have pledged that, as a member of the National English Honor Society, they shall endeavor to advance the study of all areas of English and foster a spirit of fellowship among students excelling in all facets of the English language arts, ever keeping in mind our national, our national motto as our guiding principle, duty goes with honor. Warren Anderson, Megan Antosca, Morgan Antosca, James Arts, John Bamford, Lindsey Binkle, Aiden Blake, Samantha Carrera, Emily Clinton, Pullman, Megan Cross, Sophie Damore, Isabella Dardino, Nathan Daly, Zoe Duran, Alexis Fleming, Justin Beligo, Jelani Goodwin, Jillian Eisenstead, Riley Jewett, Courtney Cass, Caroline LaSalle, Bryn Leahy, Abigail Leo, Lily McKay, Justin Miranda, Caitlin McCartney, Olivia McConnell, Caitlin McKenna, Jack McFarland, McKenna Morse, Ann Pescott, <coughs> Matt Supporter, and Catherine Powers, Andrew Revere, Jordan Robbins, Samantha Rodriguez, Emily Sheppis, Caitlin Sheppis, Ashlyn Sylvia, Emma Toole, Nicole Weiss, Michael Whalen, and Elia Wilson. And now to you to be members in full standing in the Nathaniel Hawthorne chapter of the National English Honor Center. Congratulations. Samantha Carrero, Megan Cross, Ethan Daly, 
Isabella Dumont, Ryan Fitzroy, Alexis Fleming, Justin Guigo, Jillity Goodwin, Courtney Cass, Caroline LaSalle, Abigail Leo, Connor Lynch, Justin Miranda, Caitlin McKenna, Jack McParlin, McKenna Morris, Thomas Mulvaney, Anna Pescott, and Catherine Harris, Jack Riley, Jordan Robbins, Samantha Rodriguez, Emily Sheppis, Caitlin Sheppis, Ryan Cerrone, Ashlyn Sylvia, Andrew Tatro, Caroline Turco, Michael Whalen, and Ellie Wilson. Congratulations to Norton High School's new inductees in the Rogue Capital. Thank you. This concludes our induction ceremony. Congratulations to the new inductees of all honor societies.